guys, welcome back to Hope is a Live channel. Today, I want to talk about leading, but a different type of leading. It's called leading from the shadows. And the scripture is Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 to 30. I'll put it up on the bottom for you. Yet I could put this as Paul speaking, yet I consider it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier but your messenger and the one who ministered to my need, since he was longing for all of you and was distressed because you had heard that he was sick, for indeed he was sick, almost to the point of death. But God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also. I sent him the more eagerly, that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and I may be less sorrowful. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem. Because for the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service toward me. That's Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 to 30. So Ephrodites never became famous like King David or the Apostle Paul, but he always remained obscure, even though he played a vital role in the kingdom of God, and he played a vital role in the early church. You can't find out a lot about this guy. He was a nobody, but to Paul, he became a somebody. Just take a note at how Paul describes him. He says that he's a minister. He's a people lover. And that's vitally important. If you're going to minister the word, you need to love people. We're living in a world where uh, Certain people love the crowds, but they don't like people. They love having the adoration and, and the attention. And you only have to look at a pop star for that. A true minister shepherds and loves people. Epaphroditus was a risk taker. Paul says he was a fellow soldier. He was a tireless worker. Paul says he was a fellow worker. And lastly, he was a servant leader. He was a messenger. So the question today is, you might be up front, you might have the important role, but if you don't have an important role, if you're in the shadows, then how do you lead from the shadows? It's vitally important because sometimes people have an up front or out front type of ministry or leadership role and then when that disappears or something changes, they find it very difficult to serve in a leadership capacity from the shadows. It's very important to be able to serve from the shadows. Hope this helps you today. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is a Live channel. For more videos, you can click here or here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, send it to your friends. Take care. You can choose now. Yeah, just anyway.